Hey there, here is a quick tutorial on the liquify tool. Uh, so I have my image. Uh, I've already done a few corrections with the overall color and um, just kind of bringing up some exposure and a, some skin editing. So we've gone from our straight out of camera to here. Uh, I always do a couple of duplicate layers and then you're going to want to come up to filter and to liquify. So then it's going to bring up your liquify right here. I usually start with the cheeks. Um, sometimes they can get a little squished, so I'm just going to kind of round out her cheek a little bit using this, the forward warp tool. So really it's just this area right here that I kind of want to round out and make a little more even. Now the secret with the liquify tool is that you want it as big as you can um, because that helps kind of even out your moving. Alright, so once I've done that, I'm going to work on the blanket, the wrap around her because I want that to be smaller and I want to make it more rounded out. So I'm going to come up here to this little one, it's the freeze mask tool. And then I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit and I am going to paint that on where I don't want there to be any movement. So around her face, her fingers, and you kind of go over just a little bit um, to make sure that you don't accidentally grab any of that as you're warping and editing. All right, so I'm going to get her cheek. Again, I'm going over her cheek just a little bit. Now, I'm not worrying about painting her whole face because I'm not going to um, be warping up there. But once I get around where I know I'm going to be liquefying, I'll go back to my little finger up here. And then I'm going to start, again, you want it to be kind of big, not too big. Because I don't want it to kind of get over here. But see how it's not moving those fingers. You pay attention to your blanket too because you don't want to do it. You kind of want to move your fuzz in as well so that um, it doesn't look quite so overdone. So I'm just starting out kind of tucking that in back behind her. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to work on the bottom, and again, I want my tool to be pretty large. Just kind of pushing it where I want it. And it takes a little bit, and it takes some practice sometimes, so... Like I said, just practice with it until you get comfortable with it. So I think I'm liking that, so we'll zoom, you can see the difference here, but if you notice around her face and her ear, it's kind of, kind of has a um, line around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my clone stamp, I'm going to drop my opacity down to around 50. And then kind of small, then I'm just going to kind of with the edge of a really soft brush, just kind of brush that in so that it just kind of helps fade that a little bit better. See where we are here. I'll come in here and do the same thing real quick. Kind 
even want to go back to my liquify. Again, it's just kind of some trial and error. The better a little too small. All right, so I'm happy with that. So you can kind of see what we've done and see our before and thereafter. 